Hello, you beautiful H8 people. My name is Cold Gear, and welcome back to another video. So, you guys can read the title, you know why you're here. So, yeah, without further ado, without any ado, really, uh, let's get started with making Flappy Bird inside of Minecraft Bedrock. Okay, so first things first, how exactly does one create Flappy Bird? Well, uh. Okay, and now we have this beautiful game of Flappy Bird. Mm. Just look at those graphics. I know, I know, I can pretty much become like a one-man AAA studio or something. I know, thanks, thanks. But anyway, now that we have like this prototype working, it should just be as simple as porting this into Minecraft, right? Right? <laughs> okay, so just how exactly am I going to create Flappy Bird in Minecraft? Well, Minecraft Bedrock has a cool feature called Game Test. Its original purpose was to test if your add-ons and stuff worked correctly, but nowadays it basically means that you can create any sort of add-on using the JavaScript programming language. It works very similar to Node.js, if you know what that means, good for you. But anyway, moving on. To start off, I first need to figure out if I can use Minecraft's built-in physics or if I'm going to need to create my own somehow. Making my own may actually be simpler since it's quite basic physics. I pretty much just need some gravity and make the bird flap every now and again. But the issue is the fact that Minecraft's game test is running once per tick, which means 20 times a second. What this means for us is that our final game of Flappy Bird is going to look like a stuttering mess if we move the bird according to our own physics. So that's why I'm hoping I can just use Minecraft's sporting one since that runs at like 60 times a second or something. I don't actually have any numbers for that, but yeah, <laughs> moving on. Luckily, Mojang recently added the set velocity method to game test. That should make it very easy for us to have the bird flap since we can just basically tell it to move up a bit. Uh, where's, <laughs> uh, where's the bird? I, I barely started and there's already bugs. Oh wait, they're vibing up there? Why are they up there? Ah, uh, well, it, it seems to kind of work. Um, now we just need to actually make a screen of sort to display these guys on. So what I'm doing here is creating two simple commands, create and start. And then I'm simply using them to trigger a function that will board a board or a display for us based on the player's position. What this means is that we can create a new game of Flappy Bird pretty much wherever we run the command. Okay, so it's the wrong color, but uh, we're getting there. <laughs> so some more coding later and now we have this beauty. But I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting tired of looking at my old glare model. Not to mention the clear lack of pipes, so let's create some models for that. Luckily, the actual Flappy Bird uses pixel art and hey, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, Minecraft is also quite blocky, so creating a 3D model from it shouldn't be all that difficult except of course, we actually need to make it 3D. But yeah, I think it turned out quite cool. As for the pipes, what I plan to do for the pipes is to have multiple pipe segments. And then, depending on the size of the pipe that we want, we just spawn in a bunch of these pipe segments. And then just place sort of like a lid on top of all of our segments. So here I'm making like the very tip or like the lid of the pipe with that little edge and stuff. And I also added a bit of shine to the texture um, to make it look a bit more round or something. I don't know. Okay, so I just had myself a nice sandwich. And while I was eating, I came to realize that doing pipe segments is a dumb idea. I need to use my own collision in any case. So there's literally no reason why I can't just stretch out the body of the normal pipe with an animation. That should be way simpler than actually spawning in a bunch of segments. Now onto actually adding these models into the game. <laughs> spawning in these pipes was such a pain. Basically what I settled with was to spawn in two pipe models with a gap in the middle. Now looking back I could have saved so much time if I just combined these two parts into one singular model that contained two pipes. But no! I wanted to be able to adjust this gap automatically through code or something. Why? <laughs> anyway, for the time being, they are working. As you can see, we have this nice little staircase type of thing that's going on. While that left one is looking completely broken, 
I don't know. I'm writing this script literally three months later and I can't remember what it was or how I fixed it. All that I know is that there's another hour of footage of me trying to fix it. But in the end I did fix it as you can see here. But at what cost? That is unknown. These pipes kept plaguing me with new and weird bugs while working on this project like literally every two seconds. And yeah, I'm not gonna mention it since that will make for boring content, but I just thought I'd throw that out there that these guys were such a pain. Okay, having these pipes is cool and all, but we still need to actually turn this into a game now. So what I need to do next is to spawn in a bunch of these pipes next to each other and then slowly move them from the right side of the screen to the left. That way the bird will look like it is moving forward even though it is staying completely still. Although they should preferably be spread out, not all stacked on top of each other like this. Ah, much better. <laughs> Something else that I didn't mention earlier is that once the pipes reach the end of the screen, we need to create like a function or something that will teleport them back to the front of the screen. That way we can have a nice loop thing happening. Kind of like having a piston free tape, except it was made with much more tears. We did it boys! We've got pipes, we've got them moving, and we've got them looping. It should be smooth sailing from here on. Wait, what? Right, right there. Can you see it? Okay, so once these pipes reach the end of the screen, I teleport them back to the front, but for some reason, when you teleport something in Minecraft, it does this weird animation thing where you can actually see them moving from point A to B. Usually when using an ender pool or something, it's much more subtle and doesn't last nearly as long as it does here for some reason. Why it lasts longer in this case? I don't know. How did I fix it? Well, I just I just slapped some invisibility on there and called it a day. <laughs> Probably not the best fix, but hey, if it works, it works. Next up, we need to add some player controls to the game. And by that, I literally just mean move the bird when the player does something. Originally, I messed around a bit with using the player's jump button, so that when the player jumped, the bird actually flapped. But it felt a bit weird to use, and so I just settled on creating this red sand dust that you can click with, and when you do that, boom, the bird jumps. Wonderful. Okay, so you know this code that I've been writing up until now? What if we just, uh... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the code is extremely messy, and honestly, I get sick just looking at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just spend the next hour or so just cleaning it up a bit and then hopefully it should be smooth sailing. Everything is wrong, isn't it? <laughs> someone please help me? Yeah, so as you can probably tell from that, refactoring this code didn't really go according to plan. For some reason, my new clean code just kept to breaking left, right and center. The whole reason I decided to clean up this code was because I was too lazy to fix a bug in the old version and thought cleaning it up would probably get rid of that bug. But now I just created so many more and my genius monkey brain forgot to make a backup of my old code. So at this point I pretty much have nothing. <laughs> the old code didn't exist anymore and the new code simply just didn't work and showed no intention of working in the new near future. But just as all hope seemed to be lost, I remembered. Hey, I uploaded the add-on to my phone to see if it would run on there. And wait, it's probably still there. So yeah, I was luckily able to recover most of my old code by just like copying it from my phone. Although the whole jumping thing was missing, so I would have to rewrite that. Here we are. One day of refactoring code and we are actually worse off than when we started. I dumped this project temporarily and came back to it 3 months later, aka now. Yes, this project was started on the 1st of March. Anyway, we still have some stuff left to do. Namely, fixing the jumping, fixing the million of bugs that still plague the pipes, adding collision to the pipes, and lastly, adding a scoring system. Naturally, being the very professional YouTuber that I am, I got absolutely no footage of me doing any of that look. So um, here's the final project I guess, Flappy Bird in Minecraft. But right before we get to that, here's a message from this week's sponsor, the subscribe button. The subscribe button is this little red button at the bottom of your screen. If you press it, you'll see it does this cool little thing where it changes color as well as supporting me. But yeah, 
Thanks for subscribing, I really appreciate it. I can't believe we're actually nearly at 20,000 subscribers. Okay, here we are inside of the game. So, let's see this thing in action. So, all that I need to do is to open up the chat and then just do exclamation mark and create. And once I press enter, you can see our game of Flappy Bird will start. And now whenever I just right click, or no, yeah, it is right click, on this little item here, you can see that we will flap and we are literally playing Flappy Bird inside of Minecraft. And I'm actually struggling to focus on playing this game and talking. Now, you may have been able to notice it, but I did add a little bit of like a cushion to the collision. So, yeah, okay, there. Well, I died there. <laughs> but like, anyway, like I was saying, um, I added a bit of a cushioning to the collision. So, even when you collide with like the edge of the pipe, you don't die just because I found out that <laughs> since you have a, like a, a perspective looking at this thing, sometimes, even though it doesn't look like you collided from this perspective, you do collide and then it just felt a little bit broken. So, I added in a little bit of like a buffer or a cushioning zone. And yeah, these pipes, they more or less work now. I haven't stumbled onto a new bug related to them in a bit. So I think I was able to crack most of these bugs. But yeah, maybe. But yeah, I won't be surprised if another bug randomly pops up. Oh yeah, and something else that I added is this little button down here to restart the game. So if we press this, you can see the game will restart. And we have a little countdown again. And here we go playing round two of our little Flappy Bird game. And you can see our score is there on the bottom of the screen. Why do I suck this much in Flappy Bird? <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to download and try this out for yourself, there will be a download link in the description. I guess I'll see you again in the future with a brand new video. Cheers!